sea lice from fish farms are driving these wild salmon populations into extinction. Sea lice has the capacity to, to, to literally bring populations to extinction and it's now well documented in British Columbia too. There's no way around this. For several years now, anti-salmon farming critics have accused British Columbia salmon farms of driving wild salmon to extinction. They claimed that wild pink salmon were being killed by sea lice transferred from salmon farms. Although this erroneous claim was discredited by many fishery scientists, media was happy to report this doomsday prophecy. But since this accusation was made, pink salmon in British Columbia have been returning to rivers in record high numbers. Because the pink salmon scare clearly did not materialize, these same activists diverted focus to a different species of salmon. This time, they accused salmon farms of threatening the survival of British Columbia's most popular fish, the Fraser River sockeye. Oh my God. Let me turn it to see him there, see? That's a lot of lice on that little one. That's just the end of that fish. It's kind of sad. You're kind of watching a fish die. It's, it's so sad. These juvenile sockeye would be due to return as adult fish in the year 2010. So the impact of this lice infestation won't be seen until then. But what dozens of research papers have shown is that when a run of salmon fry leave infested with lice, they don't come home. In 2010, the sockeye did return, and in record high numbers, not seen in over 100 years. Commercial fishing boats on the Fraser River are setting their nets and have been all afternoon for what may be the biggest sockeye salmon run in nearly a century. There hasn't been a season like this on the Fraser, well, in maybe 100 years. Doesn't get better! I've been fishing, I've been 54 years old and I've been fishing all 54 years and I have never seen a run like this ever. I'm told that it's uh, right now uh, it's 25 million strong which makes it the second largest run since 1913.